What's going on YouTube, Rodrigo here, back again with another commentary. And this week I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I decided to split every single training session into a video for this week because I will be leaving on Wednesday, uh, excuse me, Thursday the uh, 20th to uh, San Diego for a little vacation. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the frequency with the videos this, this current week or this upcoming week. But anyways, today's topic we're talking about deadlifts and some major key points that you should be looking into when it comes to your deadlifts. Now the first thing is intensity. A lot of times I feel like people are not intense when it comes to their deadlifts. Granted, I understand some people like to approach the barbell, approach the entire lift very calm. However, I feel that intensity yields a lot better results when it comes to your work capacity, when it comes to your efficiency and dominating the lift. The second thing I want to talk about is practice. Now, the deadlift is a huge compound movement and personally one of the few that truly fatigue me even after the day performed, uh, whether it's my low back, whether it's my hamstrings, you know, etc. Uh, even my quads lately because I have been teaching myself to activate them a lot more off the ground. Uh, so that's a plus. But since the deadlift is such a fatiguing compound movement, you want to make sure you're still able to get enough practice. I know a lot of people decide that they should only deadlift once a week because it fatigues them so much. So what I would recommend is that perhaps try splitting your deadlift day into two different sessions. That way you get a little bit more total volume throughout the week and you're not as fatigued so for example if you're doing let's say 15 sets one day that's a huge amount of sets so I would say do seven sets one day um, and do another seven sets another day or you can slowly build your way up from seven sets each day to let's say 10 sets each day and that puts you at 20 total sets for the week which is going to be more than the 15 original sets in one day um, and lastly, I want to talk about not deadlifting with hex plates, guys. So as you can see, the hex plates here are just completely annoying. They keep rolling over, tipping over, and they're disrupting the entire lift itself. Uh, if you can avoid hex plates, I highly, and I mean highly recommend that you avoid them at all costs. Um, if you didn't notice on the deficit deadlifts, I actually uh, tilted a little bit which is very very dangerous because you could actually pull something um, hurt yourself pull bicep tear bicep anything like that so you've got to be careful when you're messing with hex plates uh, you, you really just have to be careful in general not only to protect yourself but anyone else around you um, you don't want to hurt yourself you don't want to hurt anyone else you know you want to avoid that you want to stay in the gym you know for the long haul uh, without any crazy you know any serious injuries um, so yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video today and these tips that I'm, go I'm sharing with you all. If you did, please make sure to like the video. We'll be ha I'll be having another video come out uh, within a day or two. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the frequency this, up this upcoming week. Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. Subscribe for more content if you enjoy what you're seeing in this video right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video.